What is up everybody? This is Joshua Casper. Welcome to another Ableton Live video tutorial. Um, first things first, go grab those preset pack. Uh, find all kinds of goodies in there. There's a couple of EQ8 um, presets. There's a couple of uh, massive presets and there's a couple of WOW, Sugar Bites WOW filter presets. And you will need Need operator, massive, and the wow filter to do this. Follow along with me. Yeah, if you only have massive, then you can use a different filter. You know, do your own thing. But that's what I'm going to be using today. Let's go ahead and download those files, and uh, this is what we're going to be making. We're going to be making the baseline in my contest-winning remix of Toastface Imaginary Pictures, um, and uh, I'll just go ahead and preview you uh, what I made. Um, the intro and then I'm going to show you the baseline that we're going to be making. If you're to impress them, you must interest them. Um, this main base part is the, what I'm going to be showing you how I made um, for the project. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this and we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, first thing we're going to do is work on the sub bass line. Now what I want you to do is go ahead and make your own. I'm not going to give you this MIDI because then you would just be you know, copying the track that isn't out yet and that would be silly. But anyway, um, I guess you could just copy it from looking at this video. but. Uh, first thing you want to do is I've just used the mouse to program in this this arrangement here and I'm gonna use operator for my sub bass and if this guy outside would shut up maybe you guys could hear me I don't know if you can hear him but I can so anyway, the next thing I would do is come into hip-hop sub bass this was my go-to for my sub um, and then if you downloaded the source files for this video there's a sub EQ and put that on that and it just cuts off the high end and boosts the low um, and the next thing I would do is come in to pitch and turn on glide and if we come in to this and listen now and it's distorted so we need to pull it down And it's not really gliding because there's no overlapping of the notes. So what I do is go turn the grid off, select this, and just kind of drag it over just a tad. And then you'll hear it glide up to this note, then this note, and then up to here. And then I kind of want this to come in, and then I want it to glide down here. And we can even glide it here if we wanted to. Now it's gliding and it sounds deep and bassy and that's what we want, right? Uh, the next thing I'm going to work on is the top part. And if you look at the MIDI that I've used is I've just doubled this MIDI. And then I've only added to some highlights to the everything but that low note. Okay, so I've just added highlights and that's what we're going to work on right now. Um, what I would do is come into Massive and I drag that on there. And in the source files pack, there is a imaginary picks base patch high, it says. Go ahead and select that, excuse me. And let's go ahead and see what that sounds like. And I'm just going to solo this. And that sounds kind of crappy, so I'm going to go ahead and just pull that down a little bit. And also inside the source pack is the high uh, EQ that I made for that. Let's see what that sounds like. Start this at the beginning. 
So as you can see, it's just that kind of top end for uh, the highlights when the notes go up on the bass line. Um, but the, where the real magic happens is the wow filter. So I'm going to pull that in here. And again, if you have the wow filter in the source files is the preset, and it's called high end sound. And I, I didn't do too much to it. I'm going to do more in-depth tutorials on the Sugar Bites Wow Flipper. So for right now, you can just play around. You right-click on these buttons to see what I've changed. Um, but this is what it sounds like now after adding that preset. And it's not a lot, but that's not. It's not supposed to be a lot. It's just supposed to be a highlight for the main, the mid part of the bass. So let's get on that mid part of the bass now. Next thing I do is again. Another instance of massive browser and then imaginary picks base would be the preset we're going to use. Close this. Let's listen to it now. So that's cool. And the next thing I do is a wow filter on there. And again, the second wow filter preset. It's called image picks glitch base group. Click on that and let's see what that sounds like. And I'm going to turn it on and off so we can hear the difference here. So as you can see, it kind of adds a, it widens it up and it adds a little bit of flare at the top end of the spectrum, which is what kind of works for this. And the next and final thing I would do do is I'd come into my EQ and you always want to be EQ and one of the one of the big comments that I got on this track was how how nice the mix was and the reason why is that I I put an EQ on everything I make everything sound just the way it's supposed to and if it's got a little bit of extra bass or a little bit of extra high end I get rid of it so uh, if we listen now what I'm gonna do is just hit this um, high shelf button here or low cut and we can listen and we can hear how much it opens it up, uh, the bass sound of, after overall. So if we play all three together now, regular. But listen, now I'm going to hit this low cut and you're going to hear it just open up. But it's still going to sound nice and punchy. It's actually going to sound more punchy. But it's just going to sound way better because the low end is going to get a lot clearer. And it's just going to be this sub, uh, which is what we want. So let's listen to this. And um, for a beginner, it might actually sound better for some reason if you leave the low end on this mid um, channel. But it might sound more, uh, I don't know more thick for you but it trust me when you're getting on a big system you don't want that low end getting all muddied up when it's clashing with this sub so use the sub as a sub and then use your mid as a mid okay it's just a, a helpful tip but anyway that's how I made that base so go ahead and enjoy those uh, those presets play around with them and uh, if you make anything as always hit me up on Facebook and let me know